Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on non-ST elevation myocardial infarction. Non-STEM me is usually a combination of chest pain, ECG ST or T wave changes, and elevated cardiac biomarkers. The important investigations are serial ECG. Expected finding would be dynamic ST or T changes, ST depression, T wave inversion, and there might be new onset bundle branch block. Also, do chest X-ray to look for any pneumonic changes or fluid overload. Cardiac enzymes such as troponin T, CK, CKMB, and others. Full blood count to look for anemia. And renal profile to see any dehydration, any acute kidney injury. Check the potassium level as well. Non-STEM me can be risk stratified by TIMI score. The thrombolysis in myocardial infarction risk score, TIMI score is a prognostic risk stratification system that categorizes the risk of death and ischemic events. In patients with unstable angina or non-ST elevation myocardial infarction, and provides a basis for therapeutic decision-making. One point for each characteristics here. Maximum point is 7. The higher the score, the higher the risk of having cardiac events or death. The goals of management are to relieve the chest pain, to prevent recurrence, and to prevent complications of MI. In the emergency department when patient first presented with chest pain and MI is suspected, give crushed aspirin 300 mg stat, Plavix 300 mg stat, and sublingual GTN 0.5 mg stat. Then, admit patient into ward or cardiac care unit. The following plan is to give tablet aspirin, tablet Plavix, subcute Clexane or Erixtra, sublingual GTN, adequate oxygen supplementation. If indicated, give satins, beta blockers and others. Take note of these contraindications of beta blockers, such as AV block, bronchial asthma, cardiogenic shock, decompensated LV dysfunction, and peripheral vascular disease. Other alternative drugs are ticlopidine, prasugrel, and ticagrelor. These are the investigations to follow up after previous management plan. Check the full blood count, renal profile, liver function test, coagulation profile, electrolytes, blood sugar and lipids, and serial cardiac enzyme and serial ECG. According to the patient's risk, in cases of refractory angina or hemodynamically unstable patient, do revascularization or urgent coronary angiography. In intermediate or high-risk patients, early invasive strategy within 72 hours is needed, whereas low risk can have non-invasive investigation as outpatient. For post-hospital care, close monitoring for 1-3 to three months is needed in acute phase. Discharge the patient with aspirin and clopidogrel for 9-12 to 12 months. Start beta blockers unless contraindicated. Outpatient follow-up needed for echo. Or referral to cardiac center if indicated. Offer rehab programs such as smoking cessation, diet modification, exercise, and target lipid LDL level below 2. That's all for this video. Thank you.